All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much once again. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the, the combined Brooklyn Low Voltage and Cool Automation live webinar this afternoon. Uh, my name is David Diaz Perez. I'm part of the Cool Automation team in North America. Today, online with us, we have Kevin Ward, my colleague. He's the customer success manager. Myself speaking, I'm the technical sales manager. Uh, and our with alongside Ben Shipley, our VP, we we make part of the Cool Automation team for North America, our growing team and our growing presence here. We also are honored to have alongside us today, Mr. Craig Norman with Brooklyn Low Voltage. Uh, Craig, would you like to uh, say a few words for us today? Uh, sure. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Craig from Brooklyn Low Voltage Supply uh, Project Sales Team. Cool Automation has some very fascinating products that we've been carrying and we've had some success selling. Um, so thank you for attending. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Uh, we will be around for a Q&A at the end. Um, thanks for your time. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So let's jump right into it, folks. Uh, let's talk about Cool Automation, who we are and what we do. Cool, cool Automation is a company based in Israel, our engineering team, our manufacturing team, everything is in Israel. We have successful and growing offices uh, around the globe. We have local presence in North America and Latin America, in Europe, in Asia. We, we're present in Australia as well. Our growing number of projects keeps expanding literally every week. And we focus on solutions for VRF integration and HVAC integration control management and service and diagnostics data. We like to work with networks of distributors and representatives, and that's where BOVS uh, has come alongside and joined us in partnership. And they have been a successful team with us partnering for our New York City presence and our California presence, and we are continuing to grow. The agenda for today is pretty simple. We're gonna cover five main topics. So let's jump right into it. Let's start with our cool automation range of solutions. So this slide right here will walk us over the main topology of everything we have to offer. Okay, cool automation has a wide array, a big suite of applications and a big suite of solutions, keeping in mind different types of end customers and different types of industries. Okay, we know. HVAC on the right side, as you can see, we have a wide array of compatibility with mini splits, multi splits, VRF. We'll see this in details here in, a, in the next couple of slides. And our main devices and edge devices uh, form a pretty robust topology where we offer integration options locally on site for any home automation systems and for any building management systems, both on the residential and on the commercial industries. And through our cloud solution, we offer, we open up a new world of possibilities. If you're interested in finding out more details about our predictive maintenance, cool remote and remote diagnostics and advanced HVAC operations, we have previous webinars and we are rolling out new webinars. Please uh, sign up on our webpage, coolautomation.com and you can view any of our past webinars on demand and each one of them focuses on a different array, a different suite of applications uh, that we are capable of doing. Today, our focus is integration solutions. So, so let's get into that, okay? So let's start with our compatibility range of products. So number, our compatibility with the list of hardware and devices and equipment that we manufacture, we have a three-way compatibility into three different types of systems. So let's start with the first one, the HVAC systems on one side, our devices connect to the HVAC equipment to be controlled and to be monitored and enables integration into your automation platforms, okay? Automation for building management systems, for home automation profiles, and as well as enables a new set of possibilities with the consumer IoT smart home devices that are ever so popular nowadays on the, on the residential industries throughout North America and throughout the rest of the world. So let's start with the HPAC compatibility. I have really great news for you guys because I know uh, the market, I know the 
integration challenges, guess what? Our HVAC compatible brands are, and I, we're very proud to say this, 100% of all VRF manufacturers and all VRF brands. VRF stands for Variable Refrigerant Flow Technology. It's the most, and it's the newest and most advanced type of, of uh, technology found in HVAC systems. And that's our bread and butter as a company. We focus primarily on VRF and we have 100% compatibility with them. We couldn't fit all of the different brands and models that you see on the screen here on my slideshow. We couldn't fit them all, but there are multiple different brands, different brands uh, rename, simply rename uh, manufacturers and rest assured that we have 100% compatibility with VRF, okay? Now on the next side, on the home automation side of things, guess what? We have, I'm happy to say about 95% compatibility with all professional home automation systems in the market today. We, we have full direct compatibility and plug and play compatibility with Control 4, with Honeywell, with Savant, with Crestron Home, Lutron, and we have great partnerships with a lot of these companies. So we work directly with them on developing drivers and developing uh, solutions to the latest range of products as they hit the market. And then on the final side, the uh, consumer IoT brands, okay? These are what we call the consumer level are the non-professional home automation panels, right? The, the non-professional ones are the ones you can pick up at Home Depot, you can order them from Amazon, whatever you, we got the Google Home Assistants, the Google Home Kits, the Amazon Alexa devices, the Apple HomeKit devices, uh, the HomeBridge type DIY automation systems. We cover them all folks. And there are drivers already out there in the market. They're ready for plug and play. In most cases, it simply requires in a cloud to cloud account association or a skill, you know, enabling our cool automation devices. And it makes those uh, readily available. And on top of using any of the third-party consumer IoT clouds readily available in the market. We also have our own solution of cloud-based software, cloud-based apps available for iPhones, Androids, available from any PC, gives you direct control of all of your systems. And we even enable a remote facility management application. So for folks that have multiple homes or, or on a more uh, commercial type, uh, multi-franchise uh, type opportunities, right? With multiple restaurants, multiple hotels, whatnot. And my, my colleague, Kevin, will focus on our offerings for the cloud-based applications here in the next few minutes. So moving on, let's go back to our agenda. On here, we cover the compatibility, okay? Compatibility on the HVAC side, compatibility on the home automation side and compatibility on the consumer IoT level side. So let's jump into what HVAC systems are and how we are able to connect to them, okay? So for that, let's start with HVAC systems overview, okay? A system overview of the different types of HVAC technology, different types of HVAC systems that are out there in the market. On the left, we start with variable refrigerant flow systems, also known as VRV systems to a specific manufacturer, okay? That's our bread and butter. That's where I say happily we have 100% compatibility. It makes it really easy and really simple for our devices to connect to them and give you that, enable that integration option that we just looked at. On the middle, we have mini splits and multi-split zones. Okay, the mini split market, it's expanding and growing. It's very popular in some markets in the United States already and it's expanding and continuing to grow throughout different sides of, of, of the United States. You know, when we're looking at heat pump systems, inverter systems, and of course with the VRF, you're looking at the more advanced heat recovery systems. And as, as things change in the market and moving more towards the electrical, electric powered uh, heat pumps, you know, these guys are becoming even more and more popular. And then on the right side, we have the unitary DX split systems, right? These are more your traditional, conventional, 24 volt controllable HVAC equipment that you might find on retrofit projects, on single residence homes, uh, or, or anything like that. These are, uniquely enough, the Unitarian DX split systems are really only popular in the United States market. 
uh, deliver or not. But yeah, we have compatibility with all of them. And let's dive a little bit deeper into what each one of them is and how we connect them, all right? So starting with the VRF systems, our main solution for VRF systems, we have a simple to commission universal controller device. We call it the cool masternet, okay? If you ever heard about cool automation, you probably heard about our cool masternet device. The cool masternet is our champion. It's universal, it's easy to install, it's easy to reconfigure for any brand, and it literally supports 100% of VRF manufacturers. It's a plug and play solution. And once you connect it to the control system of the VRF equipment to be controlled, it gives you an auto discovery of every zone, every unit, every, every uh, connected indoor zone into the cool master net and makes that integration so simple. If you don't know what the cool master net is, please send us an email, please reach out to us, reach out to BLVS, Craig and his team here. We're happy to dive deeper into more details of how the cool master net works, how it is compatible, how it's able to talk to a Daikin VRV system and a Mitsubishi electric system at the same time from the same device, okay? And, and we have full compatibility with LG, Fujitsu, Samsung, Toshiba, Panasonic, Media, Samsung, all of them in the market. Guess what? We cover them all. Next up, we got our mini split and multi split. So for those guys, we have developed a specific set of hardware. It's a combination of what we call our cool plugs and our cooling hubs. Cool plugs are easy to install. They connect directly into the indoor units and they support most, pay attention, I didn't say 100% on the mini splits, but supports, supports most of mini split models in the market. We support the same brands as VRF and a big subset of models for mini splits. They also give you comprehensive options for on-site integration. And they guess what? We have wired and wireless networking options, okay? So it makes it really flexible, really easy to commission. And finally, the final type of HVAC equipment that we talked about is the unitary systems, DX systems, traditional or conventional split systems, right? One to one, so you have a condensing unit and a bigger handler, forcing air and ducted systems and whatnot. So for those devices, we what we call our non-VRF integration devices, our cooling bridge. Our cooling bridge, it's what has been developed to connect the traditional HVAC systems, gives you control over uh, direct control of the systems via a smart thermostat. A five wire conventional 24 volt thermostat that connects to it. And also we offer our own thermostat and we offer our own underfloor heater controller. Okay, it gives you control of up to eight zones. And each one of these, you can, you can connect multiple systems together to cover any size projects. Okay, we also have a traditional I or conventional IO board. So you can connect any environmental sensors door contact status, uh, light switches, uh, fans, blowers, dampers. So there's a lot more to dive into the cooling bridge, but once you get it, it's the same plug and play integration process as we offer with the cool master net and the uh, cooling hubs. So with our SMT131, we have a whole web page dedicated to this device, the different compatibilities and different control options you get with that one as well with our underfloor heater controller. Please uh, visit our website, send us an email. We're happy to cover those in more details with you. Next item in the list, let's go back to our agenda. We have our solutions for successful integrations, okay? So we cover the compatibility, we cover the different systems, the different hardware we offer. Now, how do we, stand in the market when it comes to integration options, okay? That's why this webinar is all about how do we make integration so simple and so easy. With our cool master and a cool plug or cooling bridge connected to an HVAC system, then we, know we open up the integration options into your local automation control panel. So let's start with a commercial building. In a commercial building, you might have a BMS system. Please just know that for BMS integrations, we also make it very simple we take all the hard work out of integrating all these different brands, different manufacturers, different, different models, different backnet tables, different Modbus uh, registers. 
we make all of that process so much more simple for you guys as, as a systems integrator, okay? We carry the exact same unified virtual address table for all of the connected systems. It's a one-time integration. We keep the structured Modbus registers and a structured list of BACnet objects for all of your projects. It's no matter what brand, no matter what manufacturer, no matter how many units, uh, we support BACnet and Modbus for all of these guys, both over an RS-485 and over the local Ethernet network. And we make it uh, we make it very simple to for for integration. Now on the residential side of things, when we're looking at home automation panels, we also make that integration very simple. That's what has made us so successful and so popular in the globally. Okay, so we have co automation uh, company level corporate level partnerships with major brands of home automation panels. We'll cover them one by one using any of this three integration devices as an intermediary communication bridge, you can have Crestron Home integration, okay? Crestron Home, it's done over the BACnet IP on the local network. We support the Crestron Home OS 3, Crestron Home OS 4, the different levels of processors. We also support integration with non-Crestron Home processors, okay? The old, school, you know, the, the, the real automation platform that some people may call it in the Crestron world. We also support direct connection for those over RS-232 and over the local network. It makes it really easy, really simple. By the way, we do have full, if, if you're more interested in, if you're a Crestron dealer and, you, and you're more interested in how this integration works, our past Crestron Home Integration webinar is available on our website. Please navigate to coolautomation.com slash webinars. Click on the on-demand webinars and you can see it right there. We have a full webinar dedicated just for Crestron Home Integrations. Same thing when it comes to other manufacturers like Control 4. Control 4, we have great partnership with. Our, all of our devices speak the proprietary and native control for communication protocol. They call it the SDDP. Simply connect your cool master net to the HVAC equipment, put it on the same network as your control for processor, and it will be an auto discovery of the device through the C4 software. Very easy, very simple. For all of this, we have detailed step by step tutorials. We have walkthrough videos on each one of this. Okay, Crestron. Control for Lutron. For Lutron, we cover both on the residential side, we cover both the Homeworks processor, the QS, and the QSX uh, more recently. So we're really cutting edge. We've been working closely with our Lutron engineering uh, teams and partnership with them. Uh, new drivers have been developed to support the QSX uh, more recently. Very easy, very simple. You connect them over the same network, you drop down from the Homebridge QS software, and you can find the devices on the local network, discover it, plug and play. Guys, it's, it really is that simple. Uh, please go visit the official Lutron application note where they cover in detail the different ways you can integrate with our devices as well if you are a Lutron integrator. Now for Lutron Hospitality, we also have developed a specific device for the My Room processor alongside the Lutron Palladium T-Stats. If you know Lutron, you know what I'm talking about. The Palladium thermostats are very popular both on the hotel, the hospitality side of things, and also on the QS uh, side of things. We support them both. Here's a little connection diagram of what that might look like, uh, but we have more details on the website. Just know that we cover Lutron from left to right and from right to left. Okay, next up, we got Savant. Integration with Savant is also very simple. We have, the first step is simply install your cool automation device to control the HVAC equipment. Step number two, connect to the local network, ask the, the Savant processor. And number three, simply drag and drop and pick the right uh, cool automation profile for the right cool automation device being used. And it's as simple as that, guys. It'll give you direct control. We cover different uh, integration access for each zone. We offer you, and we'll see here in, in the next minute or so, we'll see the different control points that we offer. You know, uh, set, sorry, set point changes, fan speeds, modes, uh, alert codes filter signs and, and different things like that for every device that we connect. Okay, and finally, we offer also direct support with uh, KNX, all right? 
KNX, I know myself that it's not a, as big in the United States yet. It is very popular and very strong in, in different countries in Europe, in some areas in the Caribbean as well. We have a specific cool master version dedicated to control uh, KNX devices or, or to be part of the KNX network, I'm sorry. And we are certified partners with them as well. So keep that in mind. We don't have time to cover every single home automation platform, guys, but we do offer direct control and direct plug and play integration with most of, if not all of the professional home automation platforms, as well as the, uh, the more consumer IoT side of things. So speaking of the consumer IoT side of things, we also offer our own through our own cloud. And Kevin, go ahead and take it for us. Thank you very much, David. Um, as you can see, our products cover pretty much any HVAC equipment that you'll run into on any of your projects. Um, Beyond that, just the home integration or BMS integration level, we do offer, as David mentioned, our own uh, cloud-based applications. This on the residential level, we have the control app, uh, and then in commercial applications, we also offer the facilities management app, and across uh, any of our connections with a VRF system. We, we also offer the service app to get into the advanced diagnostic uh, points from each of these systems. So I'd like to spend some time showing you directly uh, what these apps look and feel like for your customers. Uh, if, if they just won't or aren't, aren't willing to use a home automation system, uh, this control app is standard with any of our products. Uh, and would it enable remote access or Wi-Fi control of your uh, HVAC system that we are connected with. So, so you can see here, this is our control app. It's available across any Apple or Android device from a mobile application or can be logged into from any browser. The app is robust enough to create separate groups, allow you to provide a common name for each of your zones, and then gives you full remote control of each of those spaces. Uh, in a hotel, we had common areas, IT, AV rooms, some offices. Um, and from here, we can select on any one of our zones, simply raise or lower the set point, change your mode from cooling to heating to auto or just the fan. You have full fan speed control. If applicable, louver position so you can direct airflow in the space and the ability to create any schedules. So any kind of setback schedule when everyone leaves the office for the day or if there's a daytime and nighttime schedule, you can simply have that schedule begin at your specified time. Everything is in cooling, turns to 75 degrees, and will shut off at the end of the day, say 5 p.m. So very simple to configure, very simple to use, and have direct control and monitoring of each of your customer spaces. We do offer some uh, uh, local integration, with Ecobee thermostats as well. This is a simple process, as David mentioned, it's cloud to cloud. Um, simply enter your Ecobee account credentials. The Ecobee stat just needs power. It's not actually connected to the HVAC side itself, but from our app, now you have complete control of that system and that Ecobee stat. You have complete Ability to add additional users. So in Airbnb applications, uh, homeowner, or even if they just have friends coming over, you can uh, manage the users, add somebody with an expiration date if you'd like, give them guest ac 
access to your specified fan coils. And when they log in, they would only have access to the fan coils that you've selected. This simply sends them an invitation to register. So it's nice and simple to use. Beyond that, there's some statistics which give you more or less how often the system has, has been running um, in which mode, the average set point over that time, as well as the outside temp. But overall, the cool remote app allows you to, to have exactly that, the remote control of your system. And this is, again, included with any of our hardware. Beyond just the control, our product sol solutions are unique where they allow you to actually access the diagnostic information. This is a subscription-based package, but definitely takes a deeper dive into the system performance and allows for more uh, advanced alert notifications. So I'd like to take a few seconds to highlight this and would be happy to uh, point you towards some of our previous webinars that cover this product in detail or would be happy to schedule um, additional dem demonstrations or uh, training on this side of the applications as well. So our service app gives you global control of any connected device with real-time statuses of each of your sites. You can see a green icon whether there's no issues. And if there is an issue, you will see that happen on the open alerts section here as well. Anything from the native error codes being pushed out from the system itself, if the system fails, we have a system error, or if it's local to an indoor unit like the float switch tripping. If any of your devices are disconnected, they appear as a communication error and appear in blue. And then we have a suite of anomaly rules, which are custom alerts that allow you to trigger any kind of email or text notification uh, for a customized set of parameters. So our system will act as a watchdog for you, uh, monitor your indoor unit set points, room temperatures, and even beyond that, the advanced diagnostic pieces like operating pressures, temperatures, refrigerant temperatures, et cetera. The app allows you for, to easily fix an issue if it's from the control issue or from the control side. If it's too warm in the room and you log in and see that it's a 64 or 76 degree set point, or if it's in the wrong mode, you can easily adjust that here, um, put it into heating mode. So if you actually want it to be 76 in the space, um, or to, for you to e easily manipulate the set point as well. We do have advanced diagnostic information as well. So you can see the performance of the system in real time and historic trend data. You can see here where the system is actually operating. Things like entering refrigerant temperatures and valve positions. It's a pretty robust tool to see exactly what your room temp and set point is. So you can see our set points at 70 with the room temp at 72, entering and leaving refrigerant temperatures, valve positions, things that may be of interest to a facilities manager or a mechanical service provider. Overlay any alerts if they've occurred and diagnose exactly what the issue was that may have caused uh, that fault. Beyond that, uh, I am happy to get together with any of you that may be interested in, in seeing any more of these capabilities, but I hope that this is at least a, a good high level overview of the additional capabilities that our equipment has to offer other than just the local integration. Um, with that, I'd, I'd like to turn it back to David who can walk us through uh, kind of a summary of everything we've covered. Um, as well as a uh, final wrap up. And thank you again, everybody, for, for taking the time with us today. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for covering. So as Kevin said, as our, our three different uh, 
cloud-based software that we do offer in addition to all the local on-site integration uh, to your BMS platform, to your home automation platform, or simply if you didn't have either, if you didn't have a home automation platform or a BMS to, to integrate with, you can still rely on one of our many uh, mobile-friendly cloud-based solutions that, and to still keep your customers happy and with remote access or home Wi-Fi access to any of their systems, right? Thank you, Kevin. So next up, I wanna cover basically the product product selection flow, okay? I realize we've covered a bunch of different products. We cover a bunch of different HVAC uh, types today so far. So hopefully this slide here will help, help me make it a little bit simpler, right? So the, the selection flow for our products and our solutions is, is very, it's comprised of four steps, right? Step number one, it's understanding what the brand and the required HVAC is, all right? The brand of, of HVAC to be controlled. Number two, what is the HVAC type? If you recall, we cover the three different major types, VRFs, mini splits, uh, unitary uh, split systems as well. And then the step number three is getting an understanding of, for this particular project, how many indoor units are there? How many zones need to be integrated? How many zones need to be controlled, okay? So typically for those step number two and step number, number three, it can be very helpful to actually reach out to uh, the, the project manager, right? Or if it's a new construction, reach out to the, uh, the mechanical equipment and the, the MEP drawings for that, for that particular project. Or if it's a retrofit, then, you know, get it from your HVAC supplier, HVAC contractor for the project. Get a get the equipment list from the, the mechanical drawings or the equipment scope. And then we can help you guys put together the right cool automation product needed for that particular project. It's usually very simple, very straightforward. Uh, both our cool automation team is open to offer direct support to you guys for your projects, as well as our great partners, BLBS. They, they have a great sales team. They have a great support team as well. You can reach out to them directly for support for any projects you already have that you think you might want to try uh, implementing some of our solutions. In. So with that said, uh, we have a few different support uh slides available you know navigating starting on the right side if you navigate to i mentioned this area coolautomation.com slash webinars you can simply access any of our past videos on demand and we we're dedicated to different uh as, as you can see uh presentations that are dedicated more towards the hvac professional towards the integration professional. And you can click and, and simply watch on demand or download all the relevant uh, documents that you might need. We also have an online support center, coolautomation.com slash support, and you can download any supporting materials, documentation, installation instructions. Uh, we have wiring diagrams. We have step-by-step -step tutorials on different brands, on different uh, control systems, as well as YouTube videos that are, have been made for specific manufacturers as well. So please know that the resources are out there. The cool automation in the United States is available for your support. Uh, BLVS in the United States is available for your support. And of course, our, our great uh, team will make a joint effort to get you all the answers and to get you more projects. So with that, I wanna thank every single one of you for joining us today. And we would like to open the next few minutes uh to any questions that might you might have feel free to send them in through our zoom platform you're available you're able to send in uh questions written okay you can so send them in i see a few ones have already come in and we're gonna take the next the next uh five or ten minutes or so answering some questions please send them in we'll try to get to them as we can all right a few ones have already been sent in thank you kevin for uh for hopping on. Thank you, uh, Craig, for joining us today. And, and uh, we'll start answering some questions live now. Uh, we got a question coming asking, uh, is, is there a tool to confirm that a particular model split is available? Great question. Thank you for sending that in. For compatibility questions and compatibility requests, today the, main, the, the most effective approach is to, like I showed on that one slide, grab the list of equipment, all right, the, the model numbers and the number of units,
put them in an email and send them to us. Okay, we'll, we'll confirm whether they're compatible and we'll tell you exactly what type of products you will need and how many of them to handle that project. Okay, you can reach out to us, you can reach out to BLVS. We are working on updating our online compatibility tool so that anyone can simply uh, go in and enter the model number of their of their HVAC system and then we'll, you'll get an answer. Uh, today, that, that, that's not yet functional at, at this moment because we've been adding so many more brands and so many more model numbers, so it's just a little outdated. So if you check our online compatibility tool, don't be frightened if it says not compatible. Simply send us an email because that, that portion might not be up to date. A uh, question came in about integration with Nest thermostats. Great question. So we with Nest thermostats, we used to be fully compatible via a cloud to cloud integration. Unfortunately, there was a change on on the Google side since on their on the Google Open API side, and we no longer have compatibility with them today. We are compatible, however, with the Google Home Assistant and the Google uh, Voice Assistant as well. So. Uh, if you want to find out more details about that, send us an email and we can walk you through a couple of different options too. Uh, let me see. I see more questions coming in. Thank you guys. Keep sending them in. We'll, we'll keep answering them as they come in. Uh, Kevin, do you want to take one or two? Absolutely. We, we have a question about uh, a site that may have VRF or, or VRV and non-VRF systems. So traditional 24 volt controlled. Um, can it be completed or integrated with one Coolmaster net? Uh, yes, absolutely. Our products are universal integrator. Uh, the Coolmaster net being the most robust can accommodate multiple system types and multiple system brands. Uh, so it's compatible with, uh, from, with the HVACs and can integrate locally with that single device. So if a Daikin VRV system would connect to L1 on the Coolmaster net, if there's a handful of furnaces or a standard 24 volt thermostats that we can use or apply our SMT 131, uh, those would daisy chain and land back on L3 at the Coolmaster net. So between the multiple ports on that device, uh, we're, we're seeing both systems and allowing you to integrate the entire building from one single device. Um, one of the most common uh, troubleshooting requests that I receive when tying into a VRF system is that it, it doesn't auto discover. And uh, this kind of leads into the next question that I see here um, on the VRF side when the system is commissioned properly for central control it truly is a plug and play process where you land your two wire connection from daikin mitsubishi toshiba lg etc and the units automatically load on the touch screen uh, immediately for you when that doesn't happen it's typically typically because there's uh, an addressing issue or, or a step that was skipped from the installation side where the indoor units don't have a central control address assigned or there's some other commissioning piece that just isn't activated on that VRF system. So we, we certainly are available to assist with this. Um, we have some documentation uh, that, that can help guide you on, on how to access those menus from the local thermostats on the VRF system. Um, so that they become visible through our auto discovery process. So um, happy to help you in the field when you when you connect and it won't discover. Uh, there's probably something on the HVAC side that needs to be completed, and and we're here to support you with that as well. All right, thanks, Kevin. Um, I got a couple of questions about a specific project. Uh, how to apply our solutions to a project with? 16 different AC units, some split, some mini splits, et cetera. Uh, that will probably be answered uh, a little bit more effectively if we had a, a, a spec sheet of the equipment. Uh, please send us an email. Our contact info is on the screen. Send me an email with the, the details of the HVAC equipment to be controlled, and we'll be glad to 
put up a proposal and, and, a, and a solution diagram for that particular project. Uh, and that next question, is there a complete complete list of supported automation platforms? We have a list available on our website as well, coolautomation.com. And I believe if you go under the support tab, there's a, a list of check the compatibility for automation systems. Um, so try that. And if not, send us an email. We'll be happy to provide that for you as well. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the questions. Keep sending them in. We got about three or four more minutes uh, to cover some more answers. If we can't get to all of them today, we will answer them. We, we're we're going to get these questions via email as well. We'll answer them via email too. And by the way, this whole session is being recorded. You will receive a link to the recorded recording of this session um, here in the next couple of days, and then you can, uh, you can refer back to it, okay? Uh, do we need to run new wiring or is the system wireless? Uh, we do offer both wired and wireless uh, capable devices. Those are specific to mini splits, multi splits, and indoor uh, VRV units. Uh, please send us an email again with the details of your project. Where, like I said, we're happy to happy to show you the different topologies and the different solutions. But uh, I think I have a actually while we're on that topic of wireless, I have a great slide here that might show you what the wired topology looks like. It's a daisy chain wiring versus the wireless topology where it's a mesh wireless mesh network where each device is an access point and a repeater for the next one right and and gives goes back to the hub or the cool master and it gives you integration options into your into your control system through the through the cooling hub all right um next question i'm seeing and Kevin, feel free to jump in too if i if i'm missing any i see a question about control for integration with mitsubishi is it solid? Oh, I love questions like this. The answer is yes, it is solid. We've been using that solution for, I don't know, 10 plus years in the market. We are control for partners. Our equipment support SDDP communication protocol natively, each one of them, and our connection into the Mitsubishi uh, systems, both Mitsubishi Electric and Mitsubishi Heavy is, is tested, true, and, and tried. And it's, like I said, we've been on the market for, uh, I think, since what was it like almost 15 years now and, and and growing so it's been very successful and solid uh, let me see who would be the right person to reach out to uh, you have all, all of our our um let me see our uh, contact information is on the screen here any one of us or all three of us, please send us an email. We'll be happy to address any questions. And if we don't have the answers or if we're not the right people, we'll send you to the right people, right? Whether that's in BLVS or on our side. We're, we're happy to work with all of you directly. Um, if you have a customer that is needs a little bit more convincing on the, the products, or if you're working with an architect, a builder, uh, an engineer, we're happy to partner with you, um, present mm -hmm. them the information, make sure that you have the supporting documentation for the solution, um, you know, help get this product specified um, or introduced uh, across the country. Um, that's what we're here for is to support you with that and, and ensure your success uh, with your integration, so. Absolutely. All right, another question. What is the typical typical lead time on getting your equipment? Is it stocked here in the United States? Great question. Yes, we have a warehouse, uh, a couple of warehouses actually in the United States strategically placed. And then we work with distributors and reps that keep our product on their own local inventory. Uh, please send us an email, tell us where you're located or you can go directly to Brooklyn Low Voltage Supply. They have stock both in, in the new, greater New York City area and in the California, Los Angeles area. And they are ready, they can ship anywhere in the United States as well. So thank you for uh, the questions. We Thankfully, we, we have recovered from the shortage of the wireless chipset on the supply chain that we experienced last year. Today, knock on wood, we have equipment readily available. Production is back to full strength and actually increasing uh, uh, every week. So we, we have them readily available. Thank you. Uh, 
yes, question about whether, a couple of questions about whether this is being recorded and whether this will be emailed. Uh, yes to both. This is the whole entire section. Uh, session is recorded, you will receive an, an email link to the recorded version and then you can download it afterwards in the next day or two. So thank you for participating. I appreciate you guys' time in the middle of the week. I think we have time for one more question and then I wanna, I wanna uh, close it up for the day. Okay, let me see, a couple more questions coming in. US tech support, what is the number? A great question. So actually you have uh, on the screen here and live with us, we got Kevin Ward, our tech support and customer success manager. His phone is on the screen. Quickly grab it before he, uh, before he hides it from the world. And, uh, and again, reach out to him directly or reach out through our website or reach out through uh, Brooklyn Low Voltage uh, in your channels there. Any one of us will direct you to the right answer uh, for any of your existing projects or any future projects. Uh, and with that, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Keep in contact. Send us emails. We're we're happy that, uh, that we're happy to work together, and we're happy to help you continue success on integration projects and on remote HVAC control, remote HVAC service and diagnostics data. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, everybody, for joining us.